I don't have a problem with TRX 4Ms. You do. At least that's what my doctor told me. Dr. Feelgood. He's the one I call Dr. Feelgood. All right, so in the name of testing, it's, it's totally in the name of testing, I got another one. So we got this TRX 4M, we got uh, this TRX 4M, and now we have this TRX 4M. And unfortunately, we didn't have one available with the exact same body. So I went with the Red Defender because it was the only one that was available. As y'all know, these have been slightly difficult to get. Maybe some vendors have had more luck with others. But what I wanted was multiple vehicles so that I could test and compare. And these are kind of a good size for the kids too. So, you know, we got three of them. We all can go out and crawl together now. That's totally why I got it. It's not because I have a problem. I was totally thinking of my kids. Yes. I'm going to have to figure out how to see which are which and then probably clean up all this. All right. So let's take a look at the Defender. <laughs> there we go. So it's the same as all the others. We've got, you know, our instruction set. We've got the radio, which probably doesn't include batteries. Um, I don't even remember at this point. And the little 750 milliamp LiPo. Now, maybe y'all just tell me in the comments what y'all would do for comparisons. There is an infinite number of combinations almost. Uh, even just going with my motors, I've got two motors, we got a stock motor, we have ball bearings and non-ball bearings, we have uh, normal ratio, we have high ratio, we have low ratio. And I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna be able to get to all those. Uh, the best that I can probably do is gonna be like a 66 turn with low ratio, an 87 turn with the normal, and then a stock vehicle as, you know, base comparison for everything. So here we go. It's the same as all the other ones, but it has this body. And really, I don't have a scale here, but I would really wonder, is the body different in weight? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really wanted the same body for them all so that I could do equal comparisons on drag brake. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult with this, which is why, which is why I went ahead and got an extra body for it. Looks like somebody already ripped it out of the package once to look at it. So this should allow me to have an even playing field for all the vehicles. I also got a couple of other aftermarket parts that uh, I'll just talk about later. What I'm more interested in then, than this uh, just, since it's so small, I'm not trying to go for like max capability or anything like that. Cause I mean, how capable can this thing get? Really not much. I'm sure better tires are going to work. I'm probably going to want more forward weight bias on the thing, but besides that and electronics, I'm, I'm not going to go ham on these. And so I'm going to have to trust some other companies. All right. So we're already running into problems. The bumpers are different. Uh, so this doesn't go on. Oh, well, that's a shame. I'll have to do something, I suppose. I mean, I can force it on. <laughs> but okay, it's not going to be exact. That's a shame. That's going to make it harder for us to do comparisons on everything. So just keep that in mind. If you're asking in the comments for a certain comparison, a certain way, I'm sort of limited on time and I'm going to be limited on my ability to get a bunch of the exact same rigs as well. So maybe I'll just take the bumpers off of all of them <laughs> and we can have an even playing field that way. So there we go. The fleet is growing. I think what I'll do, I mean, we could do, I suppose we could do body off comparisons for the motors. I'll put the low range transmission with the 66 turn in one of these. I'll do the standard 180 motor in another one and then we'll have a stock vehicle. I suppose this one, I'll probably just keep this one stock. This one's got the 87 turn, I do believe. Although well, this one is, yeah, that's that's the old prototype. It's silver. Our actual ones are black, good looking black. I like black motors. How about y'all? That's. I just can't get off of doing black motors for everything. And servos, I, I just like the color black. Purple's nice as an option every now and then, limited edition. But what other colors do y'all want for your electronics? Do you really like them to hide or do you want them to like pop and stand out and you know be something that, that really is almost a visual annoyance on this? Everything's kind of tucked in. So yeah, I mean, they, they've already got the blue servo, the blue electronics. 
underneath the blue body it's not so weird underneath the red body though it kind of is an eyesore so yeah all right there we go that's all i'm going to do for today i'm probably going to do a little bit of insulation off camera just because of the high time that it takes and then we will go do some wheeling yes all right if you do have any questions about these leave them down below i'll do my best to get to them as always thanks for tuning in and have a great day